Given that astronomy has been practiced in Ireland for well over 5,000 years, it should come as no surprise that stargazing continues to be a major passion for Irish people today. Astronomy Ireland, the biggest organisation of amateur sky watchers in Ireland, boasts more members per capita than any other astronomy club in the world. Every year, Astronomy Ireland organises the Astro Expo, an exhibition held in Dublin to showcase astronomical matters and to give the ordinary public a glimpse at all things stellar and cosmic. This year, the Astro Expo was held in Trinity College, Dublin. Astronomy Ireland Chairman David Moore explains how it all began. Well, when we founded Astronomy Ireland in 1990, we decided to have an annual exhibition. And it's gone from strength to strength. This is our 19th year. And here we are in Science Gallery with exhibits on two floors, a fantastic lecture theatre where we'll have three main speakers. We'll have the Irish asteroid discoverers and internationally renowned author Brian Harvey talking about how China's going to beat NASA to the moon. But Astro Expo itself is all about the exhibition as well. We have telescopes galore, a couple of shops selling everything from meteorites to books on astronomy, uh, special offers for people who want to join the society, a planetarium doing shows as well, a portable one uh, upstairs. We also have some of our members who have done some fantastic astrophotography, showing their work and telling other people, the next generation, how to do it. So we invite all the members who have done something for Astronomy Ireland or something for Astronomy in Ireland to come along and display their wares. Exhibitors and speakers from many different parts of Ireland and from many varied astronomical backgrounds contribute to what is a very unique event. One of the regular exhibitors at Astro Expo is Ash McFadden, who runs a successful planetarium on the Inishowen Peninsula in Donegal. While he's not working in the planetarium, Ash likes to fire off rockets, and he's one of the few people in Ireland to do so on a regular basis. I started building model rockets when model rockets first came on the market in 1958 and uh, progressed to the higher powered rockets, such as Buster here. This is a supersonic fiberglass tube here. While I'm a, a laser physicist by profession, rockets have always been my passion. It's, it's a great hobby, it's educational, it's scientific. Um, it's expensive. It can be expensive if you get into the, the larger ones. A rocket such as the, the kids build for their kit is about 20 euros, including the first flight rocket motor. Uh, the rocket I'm holding here is about a thousand euros and it runs about 150 euros for the rocket fuel every time you fly it. How, how high up, what sort of altitude? This rocket, uh, single stage, can go about uh, 12 to 14,000 feet. If I put a booster underneath it and use it in two stage configuration, uh, it sims to 26,000 feet. We have to close air traffic when we have a launch. That's why we only do it once a month. The airplane's got to get through the rest of the time. Along with the excellent lineup of exhibitors and speakers, there are some more out of this world items on display. Vincent Butler and Lindy Dingle sell jewellery and crystals as well as fossils and minerals. But their most exotic wares are four billion year old lumps of iron from space. Called meteorites, these are stones which fall to earth from space and can fetch good prices. This is a, a very unusual piece. This is estimated to be about 4.5 billion years old. It's refuse from the birth of the universe. It weighs about four or five kilos and uh, it's a meteorite from Argentina which is probably the most unusual piece that, that I actually have. It's a classic, as you can see, it's a classic shape. Uh, it was discovered in 1576, believe it or not. And tell me if somebody was going to buy this off to you today, how much would it cost? I will carry that to your car for 820 euro. And how much does it weigh? It weighs about, I suppose, four or five kilos. It's three, well, three or four kilos. It's, it's almost solid iron. Um, so uh, very, very heavy. It's, you know, concentrated iron. With everything from telescopes to rockets to meteorites to the Chinese space race and even a mini planetarium, the Astro Expo had enough to keep everyone interested. Astronomy Ireland is an amateur organisation with over 10,000 members which promotes popular astronomy among the general public. The only thing which ordinary amateur astronomers need now, having left Astro Expo with a renewed appetite for their hobby, is a clear night. Anthony Murphy, Mythical Ireland News, Trinity College, Dublin.